Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the trace of a matrix. So let's begin with the definition. For an n by n matrix A, the trace of A is denoted TR of A, the trace of A. And the way we compute the trace is we sum up the elements on the diagonal. So we could write that as the sum as I goes from 1 to n of the A sub I I entry. So that would mean add up the element in the first row, first column, element in the second row, second column, all the way up through the nth row, nth column. And that's just a fancy way of saying, hey, if A has n rows and n columns, so we'll start off first row, first column, first row, second column, and so forth. And then we fill down our rows. and fill down the main diagonal, what we find is that the trace is simply the sum of elements along the main diagonal. So the trace of A is the sum of entries on the main diagonal. Okay, so this is not something that's hard to compute. We'll do an example just to make sure that we're happy with this uh, definition. So let's let A be a 3 by 3 matrix, and we'll start off with a negative 1, 0, 5, 3, 1, 4, and a 0, 10, 15. So if we wanted to find the trace of A, again, we're looking at the sum of entries on the diagonal. So we would say the trace of A is equal to a negative 1 plus 1 plus 15. So the trace in this case is just 15. Now the trace has some really interesting properties that we'll use later on in the course when, when we talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors and things like that. But for now I just want to give you four properties of a trace um, and they are the following. Well, let's just write it out, trace. It's probably a little bit clearer because we might have a matrix B entering our lives. Um, so the first property is an additive property. In other words, the trace of A plus the trace of B is equal to the trace of A plus the trace of B. And that's pretty clear if you think about how we get to the trace. Um, so elements in A plus B consist of entries from element uh, matrix A and elements from matrix B where we're just adding component wise and the trace of A plus B is just the sum down the main diagonal and we could break apart that sum to say oh well that's just the sum of the A sub I I's plus the sum of the B sub I I's, the entries of matrix B along the diagonal. And so that's just the trace of A plus the trace of B. So that's a sketch of the proof for that. The second property that we have is a multiplicative property. So the trace of A times B is equal to the trace of B times A. Remember that matrix multiplication is not commutative, um, but the trace is the same in those cases. We have a scalar multiplication property. We have the trace of C times A that is equal to C times the trace of A, where C is a real number, C is a scalar. And lastly, we have a property related to the transpose. So the trace of A transpose is equal to the trace of A.